Monaco, just have parked my Lotus here. Guys, Geneva is a beautiful city. If you have a chance, just come here. Even though it's coronavirus, but still restaurants are open till Tuesday. Uh, people also ski, go for snowboard in some places. And yeah, well, there is no any sign of lockdown here yet. So you would never guess where we are. We're in Chamonix village in France. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, around us we can see mountains. The only sad thing is that the cannon road does not work. But if you just have a look there, uh, you can see how beautiful it is there. You see the top of the mountain and behind me? Well, it's just a dream to go there, but look down. Everything is closed. We try to find a way how to get to these beautiful mountains, but uh, during lockdown it's really hard to do. We're gonna try to get a car and get there. Just have a look what a beauty it is. Like the mountains there, also there, it's like a paradise. A separate topic is about cleanliness of Swiss water. Well, now we're in France, but still water comes from mountains. Just have a look how beautifully clean it is. This bridge is full of these logs, filled with the love bridge. You can see almost every log has a heart and all these love confessions. Really beautiful and romantic place to be. Finally, mountain lake. Just have a look at this beauty. Crystal clean water, the mountain, the snow. Now I understand why people buy a house and stay here for the whole season. Don't miss that opportunity out. And we're gonna see uh, a beautiful mountains which from the top of the mountains finally. Just have a look what the beauty you have uh, behind me. Like the city is integrated into all this lake. It's, it's so crazy now we're actually in the train that goes uh, in the mountains. You know, I'm not sure if you can see I'm gonna show you. Jeez, look at this. It feels like inception, you know, the, uh, the landscape or landscape changes so much uh, so that even if you walk in the train onwards and train goes to the mountain, you feel like you climb mountain yourself. I never felt it before in the train, it's such an interesting feeling. Wow, I'm already excited to see uh, what we're gonna experience in the mountains of Alps in Switzerland. to the top of the mountain and it's pretty for me actually scary because I'm not a fan of altitude just have a look I think behind me you can see where we came from I know and uh, now I'm gonna show you where we go to
Mont Four. This is the top altitude of our journey to Switzerland. Just look at this beauty. I must say it's very cold. People who say the Dutch summer is cold, they really never been here before. Because if you're here, you'll change your mind. Have a look at this mountains and the lake. Mount front, uh, finally it's a bit warmer when we go uh, down. I must say it was uh, significantly colder than on every other altitude on our way. Because the tricky part is when you go to the top of the mountain, like uh, yeah, Mount Fork, uh, the, the, the mountain fork, uh, which is three kilometers, 3,300, uh, you have a lot of stops in between. And it, you get the illusion that it's not so cold, you know, because in between it's still okay, you're between mountains, and they protect you from cold wind. But really, literally, the last step before we went to the highest point, it was so cold and it's so different from everything else that you could be there just a few minutes if you're not really equipped well. And you feel like, okay, well, two, three, five minutes, and you really want to escape from there to put on something warm. Get prepared if you go there. Now we're walking through the historical part of Geneva city center and we're gonna see a lot of old buildings but also we would like to find finally the tower uh, du Molar, uh, the ancient tower that was built in 16th century and we're gonna see how the historical center of Geneva looks like. We're gonna check out this fontaine in Geneva, which is 143 meters high. I will come closer just to see how did they make it happen. Jeez. 